There's a sense of gallows humour in the markets right now after one of the most bruising starts of the year in memory. One Asia strategist wrote this week, three down, 49 to go, and most his clients will share the feeling. In central bank terms for January, we are two down, one to go. On Wednesday, the Federal Reserve softened its stance slightly, but equivocated on this month's drama, saying only that it's closely monitoring developments. Last week, Mario Draghi gave markets what they wanted to hear and promised basically even looser monetary policy from the European Central Bank. Friday sees the Bank of Japan take centre stage, and it has perhaps the trickiest task of all. Japanese stocks have had a poor start to the year. The topics is down 10% compared with 4% for London's FTSE 100 or about 8% for the S&P 500. One reason is weakening forecasts for global growth. Japan is particularly geared to global trade. Another reason is the yen, which has strengthened, as it so often does, on safe haven inflows, hurting companies. The yen is also, therefore, a problem for the BOJ, fighting as it is to end two decades of on-off deflation, and now facing not only a stronger currency, but wobbly markets and low energy prices into the bargain. The combination has prompted suggestions the BOJ could act on Friday. While easing isn't a consensus view, a look at Japan's inflation drivers shows where investors are coming from on this one. Japan strips out food prices from its core consumer price index but leaves in energy, unlike the US. And energy prices have been a drag for more than a year now. Exclude those and Japanese inflation is above 1%, not flirting with deflation. Japan's workers aren't making the BOJ's job any easier either. Unions are asking for a 3,000 yen raise as they head into annual raise talks, but that equates to just 25 a month and half what they demanded last year. All this suggests the BOJ could act. The likelihood is that, like the Fed and the ECB, it won't do anything just yet. And that won't do much to improve the mood, leaving everyone in the market looking for the next game-changing event. For Asia, a quiet Chinese New Year break, a you know, week after next, might induce some calm. Elsewhere, investors hope Fed Chair Janet Yellen, speaking the same week, is more unequivocal with her testimony to the US Senate. In the meantime, for frazzled investors, at least Friday marks another week gone. So, four down, 48 to go.